Now here at the roofing portal, we don't offer a gutter cleaning service. And my guys here have often asked me why. Why don't we offer gutter cleaning as part of our services? And I guess the real reason, well, one of the reasons is that I got scarred for life. Uh, as a young roofer starting off, I got talked into cleaning a set of gutters on a roof and the results of that event virtually scarred me for life. Now, gutters, what do they do and why do they need cleaning? Well, obviously the gutters collect the water and it drains the rainwater from the roof into a stormwater system or into tanks. But not only does the gutter catch water, but it catches all the other debris that's floating around. So if the house is in a leafy suburb, then you get a lot of leaves and the leaves then clog up the gutter. And when the gutter gets clogged up, it doesn't function that well because it doesn't carry much water anymore. And the debris can actually block the flow of water so you can get water spilling off the edge of your gutter. So when you see that happen to your gutters, it's time to clean your gutters. So is gutter cleaning essential to the maintenance of your roof? Well, I think the answer is yes and no, because I've seen many instances where the gutters are fully clogged up. In fact, they may even be vegetation growing in the gutters and there's no leak in the house. So the roof system functions quite well, even if the gutters are not cleaned. But there's one element on the roof that's kind of linked to the gutters that if you don't clean it, will mean dire consequences for the functioning of the roof. It will mean roof leaks, and that is the valleys. A lot of roofs have valleys, and the valleys empty out into the gutters. And it's where the valleys empty into the gutters, and you don't allow the water to actually get out of the valley into the gutters, that's where you can have problems. And that's when you get water in the house. So it's not cleaning of the gutters is essential, but it's cleaning of the valleys. Now, one question I often get asked is, I've got to get my gutters clean. How often do I get them clean? And my response normally is, it depends. Right? It depends on what the debris is and how much debris gathers on the roof. But uh, rule of thumb, every six months or every year. But if you experience overflowing from the gutters, then perhaps you need to clean your gutters more often than that. Now, the next question that gets asked is, is it worth putting leaf guard on? Because surely if I put leaf guard on, then I need to clean the gutters less often, or I may not even need to clean the gutters. Well, from my experience, leaf guards aren't the perfect solution to keep leaves out of the gutters. Leaf guards are a kind of a trade-off because logically, if you look at the gutter system, what it must do is allow water to get into the gutters. And so you've got a mesh that allows the water in. And if it allows water in, then surely it allows debris under a certain size to also get in. And there are a lot of other gaps where the leaves will find its way in, especially if there are valleys, because it's very hard to keep leaves from getting into the valleys. So leaf guards aren't a maintenance free solution so that you don't need to clean your gutters. In fact, leaf guards can actually make the situation worse because if you've got valleys on your roof and you're gonna put leaf guard on, then surely you need to put leaf guard over the valleys and leaf guard in the gutters. And it's where the valley and the gutters intersect where you put the leaf guard on, that intersection is prone to blockage. And the main reason why it's prone to blockage is that the installers of the leaf guard don't know how to detail the junction of the leaf guard because you've got two ends of the leaf guard coming together on the gutter and then you've got the valley leaf guard that then laps over the top. And the detailing of that junction is vital. Now, I was looking at a roof the other day where there was a leak coming into the house and the roof had leaf guard all over the place because there were trees everywhere. So the owner had installed leaf guard everywhere and the leaf guard mostly worked. And this particular owner was quite proactive because not only did it have the leaf guard installed, he had a gutter cleaner come in and clean the gutters. 
So when I got onto the roof, I asked him, have you cleaned your gutters? And he said, yes, the gutter cleaner has only been here um, a few weeks ago. And he said he'd clean all the gutters out. So when I took a closer look, the gutters were all clean, but the base of the valley, just before it met the gutters, was choked full of debris, and there was no way that water could get into the gutter, and that was the reason for the leak. So the bottom section of the valley was all choked up. It had not been cleaned. So I said to the owner, mate, the gutter cleaner hasn't done a very good job. You should get him to come back and make sure that he cleans the valley properly. Well, that doesn't sound right, he said, because the guy said he definitely cleaned the gutters and he spent a while cleaning the gutters. And here's the invoice for it. And on closer inspection of the invoice, the invoice said, clean the gutters. But I said to him, it's not the gutters, the gutters are all clean, it's the valleys. And he said, well, the invoice doesn't say clean the valleys, it only said clean the gutters. And you can't really go back to the gutter cleaner and say, listen, you haven't done your job because he's itemized exactly what he's done, he's cleaned the gutters. Just that the valleys weren't part of the job. So gutter cleaning is just like brushing your teeth. If you don't do it, you can get away with it. If you do it often, you get fairly clean teeth. But there's one thing missing from just brushing your teeth, right? Because you gotta get the debris between the teeth out and often you can't get it out with a toothbrush. You need floss. So on the roof, you need to clean your gutters and you need to clean your valleys. So cleaning your valleys is like flossing your teeth. You need the valleys clean at the same time that the gutters get cleaned. And much like flossing, cleaning your valleys is just not getting rid of the debris that you see in the valley between the tiles or between the roof sheets. You've got to actually lift the tiles up and clean under the tiles on either side of the valley so that you can get rid of the debris that's hidden, much like flossing, right? So that's the way you should clean your valleys. Lift the tiles up or loosen up these roof sheet so I can get underneath and clean the debris underneath and then bring it back down again. And guess what? Not a lot of gutter cleaners do that. Now the other problem with leaf guard is that once you've got leaf guard on your roof and your valleys, it's very difficult for a gutter cleaner to get under the leaf guard to get the debris out. So what has to happen is that he's got to physically take the leaf guard off so you can get in and remove the debris. And that's a very time consuming job and it could possibly even damage the leaf guard. So for all you homeowners out there who is looking at installing proper leaf guard, here are a couple of pro tips that you should know. And you must make sure that your leaf guard installer actually knows this because most leaf guard installers go via the book and this is kind of as per the manufacturer's uh, installation details. And the problem is with the detailing. Because I think the best cleaning point on a leaf guard installation is where the base of the valley joins the gutters. If you were to install the leaf guard correctly, then in theory what the gutter cleaner can do is go and blow all the debris from the downpipe towards the internal corner where the valley is. It would open up the leaf guard at the valley and then remove the debris and at the same time ensure that the valleys are actually clean. So what the leaf guard guy should do is when you bring the leaf guard along the gutter and it comes to the valley, you should cut the leaf guard off in the shape of a V which is to match the width of the valley. So the leaf guard comes in on either side and then the leaf guard is then trimmed so that it matches the side of the valley. It doesn't go all the way across because if you bring the leaf guard all the way across, the top of the leaf guard will just drip down and it's gonna catch all the debris that comes off the valley and that's where your blockage point is. So what you need to do is bring your leaf guard towards the valley and then actually cut the V and have no leaf guard at all anywhere near the base of the valley. 
and then you would then install the leaf guard on top of the valley that runs all the way down and then trim to the edge of the gutter and it is held on on the edge of the gutter and what the gutter cleaner can do when he comes along afterwards is he unclips the valley leaf guard and just rolls it up and if it does that it would expose that little triangle and it is through this little triangle where the gutter cleaner can then remove all the debris and then he can also check the valleys make sure that there's no debris under the tiles get them all blown away and cleaned up and then he can then roll the leaf guard the valley leaf guard back on to the lip of the gutter and then the job's done quite easily and it's not a frightening process for the gutter cleaner so if leaf guards were all installed this way then there's less likely chance that there's going to be any blockages on the valley that is going to cause a leak into the house and it'll make it easier for the gutter cleaner to clean gutters that's been protected by leaf mesh it's just that tiny bit of detailing that matters a lot so if all leaf guards were installed in this manner it would prevent all the clogging that happens at the base of the valley and also it would mean that gutter cleaners will know that this is the the access point for removal of the debris from the gutter and from the valley so if there's an opening point that a gutter cleaner can use then he's more likely to use it and give you a better clean not only on the gutters but also on the valleys. You've got a brush and then you've got a floss.